Okay, so I'm here with Lu Yi Tang. She's the filmmaker behind this wonderful narrative feature, My Good Chinese Countryman. Um, Lu Yi will tell us a synopsis of the story and we'll go into the fascinating background to this film. So congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to Valencia. Thank, welcome to our festival. So, yeah, a brief... Well, this is an interesting one because the synopsis you're going to give me yeah. is the finished film, but this isn't necessarily the film you started out to make, is it? So yes, we yes. have a completed film. It's not really the completed film you started with, is it? So I'll over to you. Okay. So this film started in the end of 2010. Yeah. And I uh, brought a small um, film crew from US to China and with money to yeah. China. But at the time, uh, the Chinese uh, Film Bureau required a foreign uh, company has to work with Chinese company. So I was cho carefully choose a wrong one. Then um, the money is go to their, their uh, bank account. So you're, f you're forced to use a Chinese I have to. You have to. There's no getting away from you. That, that's the rules to. and that's it, yeah. I have to. Right, okay. So from there, you know, everything is go wrong. But the problem is I carefully choose the wrong one. It's, it's bizarre. I thought I did something right, but everything is wrong. So I only got one third of uh, uh, shooting uh, footage at the first shooting. Yeah. Then the film was forced to shut down with no heart at all, no any concerning about the budget of money or the actors or anything, or children. So it's very brutal and uh, so everybody's shocked. And, uh, we so effectively, you pumped all this money in and you're thinking this is goodbye, isn't it? Yes, I almost get myself fired with the, my, the money I found. And it's bizarre. So uh, nobody can really believe what's happened to the film uh, unless you are there. Mm. And a lot of people, uh, friends, question me, how can this happen? I said, I cannot describe to you. And because if I said everything and you will not believe what I said. So luckily one of the uh, finance, uh, the, the, the people give the money, she come with me. So she see the disaster, and nobody can do anything. And it was China. It's a um, complicated situation, conf of course. And you have, you cannot do anything. And uh, because the, the, like the regulation, the way they run everything is different than what we we know. So um, I do, you know, I try not to focus on this too much. Um, but after the forced shutdown of the production, I try to continue shoot or to uh, reshoot uh, after that. But uh, I, about uh, eight months later, my hope is um, is completely died down. Yeah. Uh, then later years, I, I just want to see if I could find the money to complete shoot from the beginning. And there are some, some possible, but uh, I saw the danger, similar thing might happen to me. So I basically turned down one million, uh, uh, one million US dollar budget for the film. To complete the film? To complete, to reshoot. Oh, resho okay, sorry, reshoot. One million US dollar. Right, so okay. the fear to have another disaster, I said, I gave up that time so six years later um, a friend uh, approached me and uh, he said he asked me what's wrong with that the film is the footage looks good but uh, then I t told him what happened then he said uh, Lo Yi you have to finish I said six it's almost six years and then all the children is growing up they are seven, eight, or six, and now they are 18, 14, you know. And so he said, you figure out. So I, I, at the time, my brain just spin, just go crazy, and I think, okay, I'm going to finish. But I really don't know how. But because this is, this is the crux of it, which I find incredible. I think a lot of people would have done this, had the chance and said no, and then just washed their hands of it, because I would have thought, my God, this is from six, seven years ago. All the aggravation I had, 
all the chances I had, and this may still go wrong. I mean, yeah. this is the thing, is you don't know, do you? Yes, so, I basically have no plan. Yeah. You know, uh, let me talk, you know, bring back a little bit. So after the film is shut down, I had some uh, plan, or uh, I hope maybe this film could turn to be a documentary. Mm. Then I ask the actors, uh, actress, uh, the, the crew member from China, they're all afraid to talk. Oh, well, okay. So that this sounds familiar. You this know. sounds familiar. That's familiar. So I know they don't want any trouble. I understand. So, but that's just to cut down another possibility. So if I want to continue shoot, I have to stay with the future style. So only thing I know, I have cannot make a documentary, but to continue <coughs> the film as a future style, you know. So, but what to shoot? And a well, the children have grown up. Grow up. So That's then you've got a problem, isn't no, it? No continuity at all. Yeah. But uh, my determination is just finished. I want to finish. I don't know how to finish, but I, I want to finish. So I called the crew uh, member in China and uh, found back uh, main actors. And they willing to come with basically no any uh, pay. And, uh, but uh, the, the, another disaster is I never expect is the leading actor to not want to come. Oh and uh, so he's postponed and, you know, and... Uh, well, at all, he just didn't want to come back at all? He, I, I, he just, uh, he did not see exactly, but I feel he did not want to continue. Okay. And he said, okay, I remember this. He said, Lo Yi, and do you know what you are doing? And you are, this is a stupid thing you are doing. And you know, you destroy, you are going to destroy my name. Oh. And I said, uh, um, you know, don't worry. And I will not destroy your name unless this film is finished and go to film festival. So at that time, probably it will help you build, build up your name. So finally, he agreed to come to sh uh, continue shooting in New York. New York Park. Oh, right, okay. Oh yes, my God. right. But to the, in the second time, continue shoot in China with no leading actor. Oh, God. So we have to, I'm, I basically, I prayed. You know, I don't know who I'm really praying. I said, you know, just give me idea, give me strength. And um, luckily, my crew, actors, they never ask me what you are doing. Do you know? how to put together later. Because you've now got, you're gonna have, excuse me, Trump, because I think this is my opinion, you've now got to have a radically different story yes. with A, the footage you've got yeah. weaved in with the new footage, right? Yes. So the story you had originally is, has to be different now, doesn't it? Then when we arrived to the location, our original location, most of the village is demolished. It's gone. Oh, yeah. right? <laughs> then the, then the, the, the day we there are scouting for location, we choose one. The next day we there is flat. Mm. So I know that then constantly the noise, on, you know, they demolished the village because of land skating. And I begging the local villager, I said, please help. Then he, he really, you know, the villager is really, really, this is another reason why it's go to my good country country. They really wanted me finished. Finish it, yeah. So years ago they don't know what happened. They just know it's not finished but it can it cannot continue. So uh, in, even the, a few days ago when I returned to the village, the village had made a dream. I'm coming back to finish <coughs> the film. Um, so um, yeah, it's a uh, well, it's what I put in the edit, you know, the, the tagline of the editorial. It's because um, I know how deeply important this. All films are important. This one's deeply important for all sorts, of, and particularly with you. Yeah. <coughs> because <coughs> let, let alone the actual film itself, the actual content for the making of the film is so extraordinary. How you actually finished it, and the drive and determination, and the sheer guts to do it. Because I am not sure how many people would have done that. Because that's. I'm just telling you like it is, all the aggravation you had in China, and most people have said, you know what, I don't want to go back to that, it's just too much hassle. Yes. You know, because then, even though, even then you finally were convinced that you wanted to finish it, I mean, those stories you just told, to me, you get there, it's almost like someone's telling me this is not going to be complete. Yes. And, you know, just pull the plug. Yes. So, you know, 
incredible and well, really, really well done. And I think, you know, in the face of adversity, you pulled off something remarkable. Now, I know it's not quite the finished, the fi sorry, not quite the film you envisioned to begin with and all the trials and tribulations, but, you know, it's a measure of your guts and determination to get this done and get it over the line. You know, in fact... Because uh, well, there must have been a point that you thought, sorry, I, to I feel this the, is finished, no way. The, bot the bottom line at the time is I finished somehow, some way. So mm. that's the very bottom line. And uh, then, you know, the f interesting thing is when I was in Boston Film Festival, and I suddenly have the documentary idea coming back to me. And I said, because the previous day, I t telling a friend what's happened to the film. At the time, I, I was very emotional. Mm. And I was crying, I'm laughing, I'm shouting. And uh, I said, yeah, everybody is afraid to tell what's happened to the film. I'm going to tell the story in the way, um, you know, and I even have the title, new title of the documentary. The director is a toad. The director is a toad? Toad. Because I was, <laughs> I was told, I was a toad by my uh, co-producer in China. Because what I'm doing is kind of, my crime is uh, try to make a film as an art. Try to make a good film is a crime. So it's a uh, yes. So I'm I'm you know I even have a subtitle of you know how to destroy film and make it back into art. So your your documentary would have been all the hell you went through to try and put. Okay. Well, you could still do it, I suppose. I'm, I'm going to tell you the story. I'm not afraid anymore, and uh, I think by then. This film is finished. Yeah. Well, you know, in my opinion, the best part of, you know, Apocalypse Now? Yeah. The best part of Apocalypse Now is not Apocalypse Now. Yeah. It's the documentary Half Darkness, yeah, yeah, yes. which tells the story of the hell they went yes. through. Because to me, I found that more interesting. Yes. The film is brilliant. There's no getting yeah. away. The film is incredible. Yeah. But the story behind it, uh, uh, Martin Sheen having a heart attack, yes. and to film in the Philippines, yeah. hiring the helicopters, the whole kit and caboodle, that was more enjoyable to me than actually watch a film. So there still may be a film. The trouble is, and you've already said about this, getting people to speak on camera, they just don't want to do it. That's the problem you're going to have, isn't it? Yes, and, the, and the, you know, plus the second group of children is complete another group of children. Of course. And uh, um, there's uh, uh, really no continuity. And with no leading actor, no, uh, com you know, the, the uh, previous story, uh, it's another film. And it's really odd that if the, the main actor would go, well, I'm not really interested. It's How bizarre. I, I never believe this will happen. So this is another direct, uh, disaster <coughs> for me. But I think I'm, I feel lucky he's not coming. Mm. You don't want somebody coming with no heart. No, because if they've got no heart, what's the point? Yes. It, it's, it's, they're going to just make a, a hash of the film, aren't they? We're just going to yes. ruin what the dream Because they uh, judge me, well, you're stupid, what are you doing? Yes, I think I'm stupid. I did not think at the time. I, I could not think. I only think one thing. I'm one finished. So I, I really appreciate the rest of Chinese crew, actor. They come to support me. Yeah. Villagers, yeah. they come to support me. And uh, with almost no pay. No, it's amazing. And I, I will consider, you know, because their, their uh, deed in China is rare now. Because everything costs a lot. Of course it does, yeah. And Doesn't it always? Yes, particularly, you know, uh, a low budget film like this. And it has such a um, disaster background. And the continue <coughs> shooting, you got to be crazy. They have to crazy, up, you know, together with me. And to dance with me, you know, like the, but uh, they are. I'm, you know, I'm certainly happy, and I'm happy for everybody in the film. Even little kids, just two years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, I brought the film back after I put together roughly to the village. I had a swing there. Mm. And what was the reaction? Yes, people like it. Oh, people that's like wonderful. It. Yes. You, <coughs> if I may ask, you know, I know you're obviously Chinese, you live in the US and all this, but do you get any problem when you go back to China? <coughs> have you encountered any problem with that? Yes. Because I can imagine you might have difficulties. Yes. 
and uh, for the first time we have a per shooting permit because it's a feature film. Yeah. And the second time I cannot bring the first DP um, to continue shoot. Second time I bring the documentary DP, which is the Chairman Buddha DP. Yeah. So he basically, you know, he, we cannot uh, ask him and uh, uh, apply another permit. And uh, uh, to avoid, uh, we uh, be hassled by the local government. And I ask him, do you mind to live in the village? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he, he, he said yes. So he lived in this village with uh, the, a, f a farmer's family. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> by doing that, we have some protection from the village head. Right, okay. So we kind of stay low, quiet. We don't want to have any problem. So by doing that, because we live in the village, we keep ourselves invisible. Thing is run, run more smoothly because there's about a half hour driving to the, a local, a small town. Yeah. But if we live in a hotel, we'll have some problem today. I, I have a suggestion. Yes. Make a comedy next in the US. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> next project I'm working on. Do that. Yes. I'm so, so afraid to go back to China to shoot. And I'm... Or, I or wait until you've got an American passport. Y yes. That project uh, is, uh, um, is uh, what should I say, is a disaster party, three love stories, and two old wars, and one war <coughs> ahead of us. Oh, okay. Yes. That, that, that sounds a bit dark, but it's a comedy. It's a comedy Please, and a, a dark. comedy. Make it's a comedy. It's shoot in New York. Aye. Yes, so, so this is all because of this, yeah. I'm thinking I have to do something here to yeah. be safe. I don't want anybody to be The safe. aggravation, yeah, don't have a question. Yeah. Listen, it's wonderful. The film's amazing. So the story of the film is amazing. So, you know, I, I, I'll take my hat off to you. I just want to take this chance to thank for your film festival. Thank you. To give me this opportunity. And I think you understood the film. That's most important. No, I do. I, 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 but I understood the, the sheer pain you went through to make it and it's not fair on anyone to have to do that. It's not right. I mean it's just spanners in the works as we say and you just why? Why why yes. would anyone do that? Yes. It's just it's just petty and annoying and ridiculous. Yes. You know, and life is short and why do you, why does anyone have to put up with that kind of aggravation? Yeah. But really well done. Really, really well done. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.